Hey guys, it's VTB Viper, and today we are playing three free Steam games. And today's um, genre is like animated slash dating sims. Not gonna say anything, but there are, I think, one dating sim and one kind of a dating sim, and then just one random one. Now we've got two without reviews and one with reviews. So, without further ado, just get into it. Um, the first game is called Blood Kiss. Now, I just saw this, it was free on Steam, saw it, looked weird, so I got it. Don't know what to expect, this music's very dramatic, and yes, if you see this as a, like, a phone sort of type game, it is, I think, because this is the resolution I'm getting as well, so... Let's just get into it, I guess. <laughs> Alright. In we go. What is your name? I will name myself VTB. Um, yep. Are you sure this is your name? Yes. Episode 0. His cold skin. This strong fragrance and the soft laughter entering my ears. Okay, I could feel his hand brush against my neck before he pulled me closer. Doesn't seem like you're that scared. Stop wasting time and tell me what you want. Now, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I just saw it and I downloaded it, alright? Don't... What makes you think I'm wasting time? Is that... A, which one... Is it a girl's perce... Alright, hold on. I just... All of this is so sudden. I'm the woman. Sudden, hmm, I doubt that's the case. I'm sure I was sleeping in my room just a moment ago. As I felt a hand run through my hair, I looked up at the man standing in front of me. Look me in the eye, you know exactly what you want. No, no I don't, I'm confused. If you keep on hesitating like that, you'll miss the opportunity completely. What opportunity? I don't want to be here. Do you know there's a sweet... Nice smell coming from you. Popcorn? Sweet. Of course. Oh, oh. I prepared it just for you, popcorn. Hold on, hold on. His hand went down my belly as he... S down my belly as he smiled. Bearing a sh pair of sharp, long teeth. No. No. I lips met and I could feel a distant taste of... Let me guess. Blood. Every once in a while, life gets pretty shitty. Okay, cool. The meeting room. So we're just gonna ignore the fact that that just happened? Ah, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. Miss VTB, I've read through the CV you sent through our site. Ah, I didn't realize I was a woman. Your reason for applying left quite an impression. We were in need of just that kind of talent with a troubled past. What talent? To forget things? I'm glad you see it like that, but a talent with a troubled past? That's what I'm saying. We need someone who can work with us over a long period of time and do their best to adapt. It would be troublesome if that someone would decide to quit after receiving the training. Ah, uh, I see. My dad had passed away mysteriously and left me with an enormous debt. Damn. If I didn't pay it off right away, I could end up in loads of trouble. Willing to do anything, I applied for anything I could and somehow ended up here. What, where there's a bunch of horny vampires? Where are my manners? The name is Gary, and I'm in charge of your interview here today. If you read the job opening post, you're probably already aware, but you'll be in an administrative position here. Since you have to stay for an extended period of time, we'll have to arrange a place for you to stay. Then, that sounds like I'll be working often, especially seeing you, as you wanted the interview to be this late at night. Anyways, 
There are some things you should be aware of before you sign the contract. Right then, the door to the meeting room flew open and someone entered. <sighs> How old is with this music? Alright, I knew I could sell, smell something good close by. Where'd you find this one? I didn't expect you to bring me a present. Are you talking about me? Roll, enough with the jokes. What are you talking about? I never joke around. What was the crotchet doing there? The man named Rule tried to come closer to me, but Gary stopped him. The mood suddenly went serious, so I decided to get the hell out of here. Good, good idea. Excuse me, I think I'll just leave. I hope you find someone more suitable. I'm sorry. What did you say? What kind of disappointing stuff is that, even though getting in here is easy? You can't just leave as you'd like. I don't like the look of you. What? During one brief moment, a pair of long sharp teeth. Oh, really? His pair of skin, those sharp things, and his purple sense of danger. Impossible, don't come any closer. I won't let you take another step away from here. We all quit it. Ah! Uh, the chair had, that had flown over toward me just rolled around after hitting the floor, but there was no time for me to stay still. Where's the game? What is the game? As Greg confronted Rule, I hurried out of the meeting room. What the... What the hell was that? VTB, stop. Stop what? Reading? Give me one good reason. Oh, this is fun. Let's play tag. Okay, if, if that guy catches me... Won't I end up dead? Well, why'd you come here in the first place? The streets, yeah, barely able to catch my breath, I had just managed to escape the building. Good job, what was up with that? He looked just like a vampire. Ha, huh, surely it must have been my imagination. Should I hide in a nearby hotel? Anyway, just in case. But just as I was about to walk the way I remembered seeing a hotel earlier. An extremely expensive looking car suddenly stopped in front of me. Ooh. A man got out the back seat and looked at me with drowsy eyes. <sighs> VTV. Oh, I can. No. Insufficient hints. Yeah, damn, okay. Stay careful. It's just a random dude. I don't. I'm not sure who's asking. I slowly started walking backwards when the man started frowning. I'll tell you who I am. Would that make you afraid? Yes. What's up with this place? Why why there's so many weird guys out here? I was just about to turn around and flee when the man blocked my way. <gasps> Wait, you can't just leave like this. Oh my god. Dine, she's ready. Got it, Eden. Okay. What are you? Look here, V2B. I don't know why I said it like that. As soon as I look into his mysterious eyes, I felt the world spin on the ground beneath my feet disappeared. And everything went dark. Okay, I closed my eyes and opened them back, but I remained in this place I had never seen before. But the voice I could hear was familiar. Ling Yu, I'll send her back as soon as she wakes up. You just gotta send her back. She's the only applicant in who knows how long though. My ability didn't work as long as she knows our secret. You can't kill her. I'll try talking with her. So don't act like some beast. Grey, I think it's best if you watch your tongue. Okay. I Thankfully, I wasn't tied up. How do I get out of this situation? I was doing my best to come up with a plan when I felt uncomfortable in it. Obstinate stare. Hmm, look at that. She's awake. <gasps> Without any more time to think, I merely went down on my knees. Okay, please don't kill me. I just came from the interview. B2B, how's your head? You aren't hurt, are you? Did you guys knock me out? Yeah, this is quite unfair, you know. I just wanted a job. How is this important now? This situation is so unfair. How? Who do you think you are? I don't care about your private life or your secrets or anything. Wahaha, the nerve of this chick. Okay, good for you. you. You're the one that kept me here. Seems she heard all of it. After a brief moment of silence, Dane sat down on the sofa next to me. Then how about an offer? Dane, when you say offer, surely you don't mean 
I don't mind, tell me about your offer. This is commonly known as a dungeon. There are, uh, here we manage vampires who have lost control. What? Vampires? Like those things in horror movies? Did you not see the fangs? Maybe... Ugh, whatever. I'm dumb apparently. That's right, all of us here work with managing the dungeon and all of us are vampires. You found out about us, but since my abilities didn't work, your memory is still intact. Normally, this would mean you would pay with your life, but we're giving you the special opportunity. A brief silence followed, everyone was looking at me. Dane stretched his legs out and crossed them as he looked down at me. Read to be, work here with us. I'm working with a bunch of vampires, this is where I live. Okay, cool. Episode 1, gosh, yep, mm, great. Oh, I got a glue. I got a no, that's a 45 Magnum. Use it. Okay, take this. You never know when you might need it. Good for you. I've got 25 gems. Earn 5 gems when you finish the episode. Outside the where should I patrol? Alright. Well, do I go shoot or do I. I want to see what the gun does. Uh, oh, okay. I thought I was going to actually do something. Wardrobe. Oh, damn, I got dresses. Okay, cool. So, who exactly plays this game? I mean, is it, uh, I want to interact a little more, please. Office. No, oh, it's one of those games, isn't it, where you need to do the episodes or like Candy Crush or something just to get the trust. <sighs> I'm sick of reading. Feed TV work here with us. Are you crazy? Here in a place filled with vampires. Hey, I feel like you're not understanding the situation. Dancy, uh, okay. Oh. It is unreasonable, I agree. Can't believe this. You're just playing around with me, aren't you? Not at all. This is a reasonable deal. No, it's not. Just let me go. The word reasonable must change meaning since the last time I checked. Saying you won't do it, it's saying, saying you'd rather die. Especially since Dane's abilities aren't working on you. That's not my fault, it's his fault. Just a moment ago you kept saying that I had to die. But then he all suddenly walked closer to me. Fuck <coughs> off. Oh. Haha, <laughs> look at all that energy, I really like this one a lot. <sighs> That's really one. Quickly put your guard up, face him. Oh, am I gonna beat him? I don't like his fingers, that makes me uncomfortable. I want to leave, is there a leave option? Just face him, I guess. A B2B, you're really funny. Real funny if you could see your face right now. Okay, but I can't because it's me. What about my face? It's not obvious you're really cute when you are like that. <sighs> BTV, BTV, think about this. This kind of situation is the first for us to. We don't want to make it worse, and it already is. I'm sure you feel the same. You do. But you're vampires too, so uh, I take if you want some guarantees to your safety. Dane gestured to Grey, stretches over some kind of document towards me. This is instructions, I didn't think it would be this much to keep in mind. I'm sure you still remember, but we manage vampires, more specifically vampires that are out of control. Got it. I get it, controls seem to be important to you. Uh, yep, 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 get, yep. This is just stories. I want a mini game. Yeah. You skipped yourself. I skipped. Oh, well, I can't know more about you. What is that face you're doing? You're just like. Alright, well. <sighs> Take it, you're an employee too. I don't care. Just. Cool. You paid. Three million. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe being with a bunch of vampire dudes isn't so bad. Three million. Ooh. 
you know, maybe, you know, it's not gay, but like, uh, three million is three million, you know? Okay, what's the test? The basement. Oh, okay. I'm going to the basement. Okay, this is a female. You found a human. No, let's play polite. Why would I say that she's pretty? I am a woman. Unless I'm gay. Yes, what is in the basement? Uh, see all those rooms, or the them contain vampires that cannot be controlled. So I'll be in charge of managing them. Exactly. Here, take this. Oh, silver revolver. What the hell is that? Also for wells? I think so. You just need to pull back the hammer and so shoot as soon as you see anything. Can I shoot you? You're a bit out of group. And a vampire rushed out. Oh, ha 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 ha. Don't think you'd bring me a feast. Shoot, if you don't kill, you'll be killed. What, what the Donna? What, what the Donna? Where are you going? Hey, she just left. Where are you looking? You should be worried about me. Before I could stop Donna from leaving the basement, man, by started charging at me. What an absolute dog. Did I shoot? Did I miss? I don't remember anything. I felt dizzyingly sharp sting and a warm feeling feeling. Warm feeling feeling. I see. Oh, uh, where am I? This is the second time. Did I die? Did I get. <sighs> Okay, oh grey, yes it's me, how are you feeling, what happened back there, and nothing happened to you, right? Complain, nothing happened, I bit my neck, you have to be careful. Okay, well apparently... <sighs> okay, I'm just in love with grey now. You think about asking the dude to try to erase you. Oh. I don't think I'm able to kill you nor save you. Good. What? Thank you for the gems. Anyway, we went on an adventure seeing vampires and um, I think we got bit twice. I can't remember. We had a gun, but we couldn't shoot it apparently, and uh, don't trust vampires. That's the moral of the story, even if they're female or male, don't trust them. Anyway. Okay, so this game is called Conversations with a Rock, by Samuel Lee, apparently. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Did you guys ever have a pet rock or something like that? Because if you did... You're weird, but if you collected rocks, I respect you. Anyway, let's have a conversation with a rock, I guess. Hey. So I guess you're the rock I'm going to have a conversation with. Are you okay? Um, this is dumb, gotta le <coughs> leave as someone should. Leaving right now. Is this the whole game? I'm just I'm just about to do something else. Okay, you got what? Okay, let me leave. Talking to a rock is a waste of my time, so I'm leaving. Please let me leave. Going now. <coughs> Whatever, I'm done. For all this time, I'm going. So just gonna go. I think I can't leave this one. This is dumb, but I guess I'll go along with it after all. Can you speak? It looks like you have a mouth. So where is that its mouth and that its eye? Kind of looks like a whale. Can you see me? It looks like you have eyes. One eye. Can you hear me? I can't see any ears, but... Um, it looks like it has a mouth, so I'm going to choose the mouth one. Can you see me? Looks like you have eyes. Yeah, okay, just say nothing. Is. Nope, you're just a rock. Okay, great. Um, 
So now what? Now I have to walk away and just... it It's a rock. I could tell you about myself, okay? I'm talking to a rock, that's how lonely I am. If that's okay with you, it's not like he's gonna answer. Cool. My name is Frank, apparently. I'm actually quite famous, believe it or not. I actually used to be a rock. Uh, I don't remember, my name's not Frank, but... Used to be famous. Yes, I actually wrote the lyrics to I Will Always Love You. Not that you would care or anything, okay? Well, this is just sad. But recently, I produced four episodes of a comedic web series for PBS. But before that, I was mostly going to put Ate the World's Last Rainbow Tongued Fish. Damn, I want that. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, had six dots that time. Um. You're such a good listener, you rock. Ah, uh, I'm gonna name you Daryl the Rock. Do you wanna hear a secret, Daryl? It's a pretty dark secret. But I think I can trust you. Okay, uh, I secretly think Peter Griffin is hot. He has to say something about that. Go on. You're not. Are you judging me, Rock? Please don't judge me. Come on, I bet you feel the same. Oh, well. He just took my secret and left. I couldn't even. He didn't even say anything. Well, I think that's it for that game. Now, this next game is called Gear Angels. Um, and there's a bit of a cutscene. Okay. Okay, exclamation marks. Ooh. That's actually a pretty good cutscene. Surprisingly, this is the game with no reviews, as well as Blood Kiss. Conversation with the Rock, that had reviews, surprisingly, because apparently people want to talk to rocks but not be with vampires. I mean, I don't want to do either or all of that. But what I want to do is defeat spaceships. That sounds pretty sick. Okay. And I think she's gonna destroy it. Yep. Boom. There we go. The trio again. Gear Angels. Damn. Oh, there's characters I can choose. Hmm. Should I choose Felicity, Mira, or Regina? You know what? I'm just gonna go for the character that I saw. Because why not? Oh, okay. Well, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, defeat him. Defeat him. What is this doing? Ooh. How do you. How does one. Oh, it's right click, I see. Destroy the ships. Missiles. Pretty bad at this thing. Give me that missiles. What's more going on? <laughs> it's hard to speak. All right, go on. I need that. Give me something. Give me some. Yes. At least those guys don't shoot. Oh. Oh. I ran out of. Special abilities like missiles or s anything, give me some. Is that a boss? Enemy approaching. Oh, it is a boss. Uh, it would be great if I could turn, uh, but I guess I can't. I just gotta fire from my own angle. Oh, okay. Oh no. 
I failed. Oh well. Okay, now we've got the boss. Feed him. No. Come on. Come on. You got him. Yes. We got the boss. Well, that was Gear Angels. And, um, what an interesting episode. We went from dating vampires to talking to a rock and to exploding ships. Now, I'm not very good at this game. But you can try it for yourself because it's free on Steam if you want to. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! So that was it for all the games, make sure to like and subscribe, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and comment down below what game or what you want me to do next. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! Well,